Good morning, YouTube. Black Tiger Miner here. Welcome you back to the Black Tiger Miner YouTube channel. First, I want to say this is not financial advice, but mainly for entertainment purposes. Next, we need to address the elephant in the room. What is going on with Caspa? I know a lot of you guys are looking and trying to figure out, just as I am, kind of wondering why it's down 14.1%. But I figured from the Rust upgrade, it would be up, up a lot. But then I was doing some research and also found a video from Son of Tech, which also has a theory. But I was thinking since it's a gradual update, maybe it's going to take some time for the coins to, or the coin price to rise. And that people are dumping them because of the upgrade. Uh, probably made some money and now they're getting out. So they're either going to buy back in as the price goes down or just look at another currency altogether. So let's look at the price here. So this is not financial advice again, but I would recommend buying, right? It's 0 0.026. And I think it was at 0 0.033 or 36. So it's like a 0 0.2, 0 0.1 drop. Was that a cent? A one, two cent drop. But I'm definitely uh, looking to probably pick some up today. So in the last hour, it's down 0 0.13%. The last 24 hours is down 15.92% according to live coin watch and if you can see here over the past 24 hours i think yesterday yeah four six at 7 p.m it had a drastic dip let's see what was it it was yeah three point uh, zero point zero one three zero point zero three one three at 5 p.m. and then it dropped all the way down to 0 0.0259 which is significant in about what was that less than an hour 20 minutes then it kind of came back up so i suspect maybe whales are dumping and buying and dumping and buying but i'm not 100 percent sure but we'll keep an eye on it there so in the last 30 days, it's up 95.8% and last 90 days, 305%. So it's still some value here. So we're not dead yet, but uh, looks like the price is just dipping. So we'll keep an eye on it. Hopefully it bounces back. So according to CoinMarketCap, looks like the similar... Three months, looks like, what is this? Beginning of March, it was up to 0 0.042. And now it's down to 0 0.027. And I'll have a full, uh, another prediction on the next video, price prediction. But if you see here, uh, Bitcoin's also down 12.48%. And Ethereum's down 14.52%. So it looks like as a whole, the market's down. But uh, we'll definitely want to see if there's any news or developing stories. And then it looks like um, yesterday, Caspa uh, on Rust is here. The alpha release kickstarts a new Casp era, promising a fast, efficient, modern code base upgrade. During testing, anticipation, gradual performance boost, and enhanced adaptability. No action from general users. No action required from general users. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I do like this little picture logo. So it looks like everything went well with the upgrade. And then there's also another wallet, which is a good thing. If they are still introducing wallets to the coin i suspect there is still anticipation of more people picking up the coin and more people uh buying it 
I think the exchanges are kind of slowing the process down. Once they get listed on more exchanges, I think it'll go to the moon then. Let's see what it said. One of the most secure hardware wallets was his Tandem is now integrated with Caspa, offering unparalleled security, extensive features, and physical backups. This is a collaboration is a significant milestone for Caspa holders, miners, and users. So if anyone has this wallet, let me know. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment. All right, let's see if we can get more comments about Caspa, or if you like it or don't like it, or just um, sorry, cryptocurrencies in general or if there's anything you want to discuss or talk about. I did see a comment about Bitcoin, but I wasn't sure if they want to talk about it or if just to do more research. But we'll check that out as well. So let's go to Son of a Tech for his analysis. for Caspa from a technical perspective, as we've seen a successful launch of the alpha for the Rust rewrite on the Caspa network. If you check out my sonofatech.locals.com, I just finished building my first Rust node on Caspa, and I'm super excited about that. But I did notice a stark drop off in price here, and that can be seen right here. One second on a coin market cap. And we are starting to see a price dump. Now, the question is, of course, why is this price dump happening? And you can see here, it's been a pretty stark dump under three cents. And there was supposed to be a lot of resistance, both at three cents and at 20 or 2.9 cents. And uh, that has obviously kind of faltered a little bit and it's having a little trouble recovering back. Now, of course, it could recover back and this isn't doom and gloom and FUD. But I did want to bring up something that has come to my realization over the past week. Now, for a while, if you guys have been following the channel and closely enough on some of the tech.locals.com, you know that I've been trying to get my hands on Caspa FPGA miners for quite some time. And I had actually gotten so far as gotten a purchase agreement ready and tried to send that over and get the purchase through. And it was basically shut down. I was told that they didn't want to sell them anymore, that they were mining on them. And then on Friday, I got an interesting message, actually maybe Thursday or Friday, I got a message from one of these suppliers for FPGA miners. And they said that they wanted to sell 200 in a big bulk order. And this big bulk order needed to be placed, you know, within the next three to five days and had to be done right away, which is already throwing up some red flags. Now, mind you, I'm not going to mention anybody uh, involved here, but this is what goes on in the FPGA market. And it reminded me of this post from Mean Hash back on April 2nd, who said, this is what it looks like when an FPGA manufacturer is mining on new hardware before they sell and deliver it to clients. Once all of the hardware is sold, the payment received, they will then dump the coins. Now they have clearly been going around trying to dump a bunch of FPGA miners on people that have been mining Caspa. Part of the reasoning behind this is we've had a record high hash rate hit Caspa here recently, and all rumors point to new ASICs or more efficient FPGAs hitting the Caspa network. And if the older FPGAs that have been mining Caspa up until this point are becoming aware of this, FPGA miners, then it is possible that that is what we're seeing. We clearly have been getting messages that people want to sell their FPGAs really, really quickly and in bulk. And then to follow it up, we end up having this price dump on Caspa happen around the same time, meaning that if it was within three days, for three to five days from when I originally got this message about selling off all of these FPGAs, and if they actually did successfully sell all of these off in a bulk order, now would be t the time to then take all of the CASPA you've mined up to that point and, and dump it on the market. So this is a possible reason for CASPA having this price decrease below what was considered the resistance levels. 
Will this be detrimental to CASPA? No, I do not think so. I think because of the way we, the emissions were structured, which we're going to hopefully have Shy on to talk about more in the future, in and the way that the emissions are very quick is that the basically the chain should level out and start to adapt for the new and more efficient hardware. So these are the reasons why, and I hope that you found it useful. If you did. So this was his theories on the dump. Uh, let me know if that makes sense to you guys, if you agree with them. I, I do see where I can follow that, but uh, going to be interesting. But let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And happy Monday. This is Black Tiger Mining signing out. Uh, let's get back to the money.